I believe I'm going the right way with this when I say this, that if anyone should have been fighting their champion, the champion of Gath, it should have been the champion of Israel. And the champion of Israel was not David. The champion of Israel was Saul. Saul was the king. David was a shepherd boy. My God. But you don't realize this. Here's what I need you to realize. That David, before he fought Goliath, fought some other things. He fought lions, my God. He fought bears. He fought all sorts of animals that should have devoured him in just one swallow. But this shepherd boy, this little insignificant, seemingly insignificant, frivolous individual that was in his daddy's backyard tending to his daddy's sheep did a good job by protecting the sheep, by defeating the lions. God, I believe, can I tell you this? I believe. God is judging and testing your ability to deal with giants in the near future on how you deal with bears and lions presently. Yeah. 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 But before, Sister Alyssa, before David dealt with uh, bears and lions, David had to deal with rejection. Oh, 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 oh. Watch this. Samuel, this, this, this story is written in the book of Samuel, yes? Samuel was inspired by the Holy Spirit to write this book, this, this account on the story of David. Samuel the prophet goes to a man by the name of Jesse. Who is Jesse? David's daddy. And Samuel goes to Jesse and says, there is a son, huh, Kamashaya. Oops, excuse me. There's a son under your house who is to be the next king of Israel. Jesse says, you ain't lying, prophet. <laughs> you ain't lying, man of God. Let me go and get him for you. Come on over here, David. No, you ain't David. You're going to be one of the other sons. His name is David, but you ain't David. You ain't David. Y'all bear with me now. Come on up here, Dean. Come on up here, Dean. Come on up here. Come on. <laughs> Brother Mo, Brother Mo, Brother Mike, come on, come on. How many of y'all are enjoying this service? My God, what an awesome mountain moving service. Look, Jesse says, you ain't lying. See, I, I'm a blessed man. You know how I know I'm blessed, Brother Darius? I don't have uh, physical sons yet, and I know God's going to give me my own physical sons, Kyle Jr., preaching up a storm. I know God's going to fill that woman's womb with a baby or two says the Lord. <laughs> Y'all just be ready to receive them when we pass them on over. <laughs> Samuel comes, uh, Sister Azaria, my, my beautiful daughter, he comes to Jesse, the prophet. Prophet Samuel comes to Jesse and says, there is a king of Israel under your household. And Jesse says, you ain't lying, Doc. You, you ain't lying, man of God. I got some good sons that, that can be potentially the king. So he brings out his sons and he says, is it this one? This surely has to be the one because he's, 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 he's wise, you see, and he looks just like me. He's got a bald head and a beard and he's sharp, right? He's got a, what is this, velvet? He's got a, he's got a velvet jacket, you know? And, 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 and glasses so he can see beyond sight. And Samuel says, nope, that ain't the one. So he pushes him out the way. Then he says, well, then this has got to be the one because he's just a younger person. <laughs> help me. Help me. <laughs> he's a, he says, this is a younger version. Uh, 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 he, he was version 1.0. This is version 3.5. Look, he never just got hair, but his, he got waves. My God. And, and some of y'all know it's the 90 babies in here, early 2000 babies, and they spinning. His waves are spinning, y'all. Uh, uh, yeah, he's got glasses, but his glasses, for him, I don't know what brand his glasses are, but clearly with the print on these glasses, He's got Burberry glasses on. Y'all not hearing me again. <laughs> Look, can you imagine? Look at Jesse selling his sons over. When a father's heart is corrupt, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't watch this. He doesn't, he doesn't want his sons. He needs his sons, right? 
Jesse needed his son to be the next king of Israel, to bring perhaps honor to his name. But he didn't realize that God, all the way back in glory, had a sign for the son of Jesus Christ himself to come through the lineage of Jesse. Je uh, Jesse was trying to do what God had already done. And I'm going to tell somebody in here, you need to stop trying to do what God has already done and just stand on his word and see the salvation of the Lord for your children as well. So look, Jesse, just like some of us said, Lord, take him. Lord, take him. Take him, Lord. Take him. Take him. Holy Spirit. Oh, 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 oh. Take him, Holy Spirit, right? We, we go before the presence of the Lord, and we're like, come on, prophet, this has to be the one. He's younger looking than the other one. He's got the nice lineup. He's got spinning waves. Uh, he ain't got the jacket, but look, he's got the perfect tie. The other one didn't have the tie. And this one, look, this one, this one, he, he, he's, he's got it. He's got it, right? Uh, prophet Samuel said, nope, that ain't the one. So he pushes him out the way as well. So then he made his way on over to the other one. Now he said, now this one has got to be the one. Let me tell you why. Because he... <laughs> the thing I love about my spiritual sons is that every last one of them have a sense of my personality. <laughs> he is even younger than the other one. He's strong, he's strapping, he's tall. And whether you knew this or not, church, really, truly, he runs track. He's fast. He can run. This boy can run. He, he can do whatever you need him to do. He will, he's going to run a long distance. Then look this. He got shiny basketball sneakers on. So he, look, look, he can move. Go ahead, son, start moving. Show him the move. Show him the move. Show him what I taught you. Show him what I taught you. Show him what I taught you, son. Look at that move right here. I'm trying. <laughs> this is unscripted, unrehearsed. I promise you. Look, 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 look. He's got everything you could possibly need, Samuel, for Israel. Uh, look, look at this. He's fly. He's got the bubble jacket on. He came right out of the move, music video of uh, uh, B-I-G, P-O, P-P-A. Look, look, look. This is him. And, and Samuel says, getting close, getting warmer. But he ain't the one either. Go on. And then he made his way, oh my God. <laughs> then he made his way on over to this son. Now this son is perhaps even younger than that son. Keyshawn, how old you is? 17, how old are you? 14. He said this, young, this son is even younger. That means that, look, look, if you give him enough time, he can perhaps be better than the other three. This one is so young, he's moldable. Come on. He's, he's, he, he can be put into the hands of the potter and can be molded. Don't you ever count out your young people in your household. I don't care how young they are. If they say they love Jesus, go on and let them love Jesus. They can be loving other things. Come on, y'all know what I'm talking about. So go on and give them over to Jesus, no matter how young they are. I remember when I was a young man, I was about 10 years old. I wanted the Holy Ghost. I, I was on the altar every single day. So it didn't matter how young he was. Watch, because he's moldable. And, and look, look at his hair. We can do all sorts of stuff with his hair. We can cut it down. We can braid it through. You might want to put braids in that head of yours. But, but look, but he, we can do all sorts of things with this hair. This, this thing right here, can, something's in there. Something can be done. The glory of God is on his head. And Samuel said, listen, man, Jesse, you're working real hard, but he ain't either. He ain't either. He ain't either. But somewhere in the backyard, Oh, God, somebody better talk back to me. Do I have any backyard people in here? Do I have any people that have been rejected? Do I have any people in here that was looked over? Do I have any people in here that feels as though they missed their turn? Do I have any people in here that feel as though a ticket was given to them? Have you ever been on the meat line in Jinta's meat farm or, or Boarhead's turkey line or something of that nature and you were given that number and for some reason or another the butcher didn't see you so he called someone else. This is what happened to David. Y'all not hearing me in here. David, 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 David. Do I have any Davids in here that feel as though they were overlooked? That feel as though someone else was called before them, preferred before them, rejected and neglected. They feel as though maybe perhaps daddy didn't 
didn't love me the way he loved the other sons. My God in here. Am I talking to anybody in here that feels as though someone else got their blessing before you? Someone else got their car before you? Someone else got their children before you? Everybody else got counted in, but you were counted out. Daddy, where are you? Daddy, did you forget me? Did you perhaps don't want me? Do you not want me anymore? Do you not love me? Has anybody ever felt like this with God? Does he perhaps not love me? David is in the backyard worshiping. <laughs> because if there's anything we know about David, he was a worshiper. Come on, talk back to me, church. And he's in the backyard attending to sheep. Look at this. In spite of his rejection, he still refused, watch this, to, he refused to not tend to the sheep. He was loyal not to his sheep. The sheep belonged to Jesse. And the faithfulness that David showed belonging to another man's property is the same faithfulness David showed belonging to another man's giant. Y'all not hearing me in here. So God said, I can trust, ah, oh, Jesus, I feel your anointing in here. God said, I can trust this one. Come on. He said, I can trust this one. Why? Because he was faithful over a few things. Y'all better give God glory up in here. But I'm about to make him ruler, king of Israel. Ruler, king of Israel. Ruler, king of Israel. Ruler, king of Israel over many. Somebody give God a praise and glory. Shout it. Yeah.